In this video we will show you how to export a random surface in Grasshopper to a Polyline DXF file and import this in Diamonds with the automatic creation of plates within the polylines. Let us start in Rhino. Here we have a very simple example in order to illustrate the workflow. We have two curves already present in the file. Let us now launch Grasshopper. And we will first resize the window a little bit so that both Rhino and Grasshopper are visible and present on screen. Okay, now in Grasshopper we will use the loft function to create a surface. The required input is either two curves that you have defined before or you can select them from the Rhino model. And then you return and you just select both curves and confirm with Ender. A preview of the surface is shown. Now, this kind of surface is not possible in Diamond, so we need to mesh this. For the meshing, we use the plugin Mesh Edit, which is downloadable from Food for Rhino, and we opt for Mesh Surface. We send the loft output as input over here. We also, we also need two parameters U and V to determine the mesh size. You can, for example, use sliders here so that these parameters are easy editable afterwards. So we edit this parameter, we set, for example, the number of digits to 1 and the max value to 50. We confirm with OK. Uh, maybe it's better to have no digits at all, so let's modify this. And next we can simply copy the U count to a new slider and connect this with the V parameter. And also play with this parameter. Now the generated mesh consists of non-planar elements defined by four points. By baking the current grasshopper script, you can see the result. Indeed, non-planner elements defined by four points. We will do a control Z to undo and we will add a triangulation, which is more diamonds friendly. And here of course we use the quad mesh as input for the triangulation function. Next we will unweld the mesh with an angle zero. And let us now try to fit the angle parameter on screen. Make it a, bit, a little bit larger. And now we can set angle zero. Okay, let's minimize again. And finally we will add the explode function. Mesh explode. So that we will end up with individual mesh polylines. Let us now bake this result. And you see in Rhino that we have all individual mesh triangles. Let's now minimize the grasshopper screen and maximize the Rhino model. Now for export to diamonds we will need regular polylines, not polyline meshes. So we select them and ask for a dupe border which will create the regular polylines and we can now export the selected elements to a DXF file. 
and we give the file a name export from grasshopper save the file and you can choose a certain export scheme the default one is just fine and we hit OK the file is now exported so we can go to diamonds in diamonds we create a new file and we go to file import import from DXF and here we look for the exported file export from grasshopper open this and please beware of the length unit conversion if necessary and of course we opt for the converse convert closed polylines to plate and this is the diamonds model we end up with so this is a random created surface in grasshopper imported in diamonds and editable